But I got a call this morning from uh, Coach Rivera, and uh, he just told me to come in and see him. And uh, so, you know, you usually don't get a call at 7 a.m. You know, from the head coach. So uh, I didn't really think too much, but it was like, ah, uh, I don't know. You know, so I uh, just made it to the building, got my COVID test, went in and had the conversation with him, and, uh, you know, uh, he notified me that, you know, the team was releasing me. What's next for you? Where do you want? Where do you want to go? I, I know you've got more game left, and you, you, you've said as much. What are you thinking? Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a lot to, you know, digest just within a, you know, a few hours right now. So, you know, I just played on it, and I know, you know, guys will be done, you know. So I still want to play the game. Um, you know, something I've said for the past couple of years now. Uh, and I felt like I had a great camp. Um, as far as you know, just learning in, just learning the new offense and taking everything in and uh, just making those adjustments, you know. So, you know, like Coach Rivera said today, it was something that was that was tough. You know, it was, it was a hard decision for them to come up with, but you know, strictly because of just the youth, um, you know, being the direction they wanted to go in, you know, it, you know, unfortunately, it, it didn't work out for me. And you know, it's credit to those those young guys. Antonio Gibson is a is a great person a great football player i've loved and enjoyed what i've seen from him and how he has continued to progress over you know the past couple of weeks 